I remember my magic tech tears this time, and I only got 24 dwarf weeds, but I only used two, um, like one or two seeds, so that's not too... Uh, actually, no, it was only one seed, so that's not too... Oh, no, it was two seeds, uh, so that's not too bad. So it's that time of the day to do my dailies. I've got to wait till 10 o'clock, which is another half an hour, to buy my battle staffs and do my potion flasks, um, but I might as well do this for another 10 minutes just to get me a little bit of extra cash, and Meowth Eyes is definitely worth doing. You make about 500k in 10 minutes, which is brilliant money. Um, and I really recommend doing this every single day. And I'm going to be doing this every single day. And um, I've just completed my first um, of my proper farming runs. Um, now, I'm going to make a bank preset as well. I'm probably going to do that. Uh, actually, I might do that right now. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some Juju Farming Potion uh, 1 doses, I reckon. Because um, it's just easy with regard to uh, just the preset. So, then you can just drop the vials. So, you're not always having um, like... You know, you have like, for example, if I always bring out the Juju Farming Potion 4, I'll then drink it and then it becomes a 3 dose. And if I use the preset again, I'll bring another 4 dose instead of the 3 dose. And I just don't want to cluster my bank up with random, um, random, you know, uh, what is it? Random potion number vial thing, filling things. Um, but yeah, so I'm just up to a little bit of some dailies right now. And um, yeah, going to make a preset and that's all. Really, what I'm doing right now? Yeah, gonna get us stuck into some frost dragons because I want to complete the uh, 1k frost dragon kill goal just to get an extra 15 mil, and we'll see how long it takes. It'll probably it's it's definitely a day job. I could do it in a day, and you know it's just a nice little goal that I want to set myself because it's something that I want to do at the end of the series. But by the end of the series, so this is gonna be the uh, preset that I'm gonna do. So the dwarf weeds at the top with the stuff that I'm gonna wear and my teleport. And also, just the stuff that I'm not going to be using, really. Uh, I guess I should probably put my uh, Green Fingers Aura up here, because I'm going to have to wear that. Um, but this is, like, kind of the setup that I want to use. And probably put the Teleport down here, just because just I'm a little bit fussy like that. But I'm going to quickly set the preset now. I'll have a little look at ones that I can spare. I'll probably choose the other one, which is the top one. Of course, it's the top one. What else? Which other, which other one would it be? Uh, so I'm going to set this preset save it as just my inventory so I don't have any problems with the game and then yeah nice and set so all I have to do is if I go into my tab right now I can bag everything as soon as I press the number one key everything's out and I'm ready to do a farm run but here's my um here's my tab it's it's getting quite nice right now we've obviously got the uh, Arminal Hermlet which is a nice attribute to this tab and we also bought some gear for some Dag Dagonoth Kings um, we've got the Torags We've got the Royal Crossbow, the Sara Sword, and the Banner's War Shield. A bit of an unlikely combo, obviously with the two hand being the uh, crossbow, the sword, as well as a polypore staff. But we'll give it a crack. But I want to do a little bit of DKs in this series as well, um, just to see how it goes and um, possibly make some money there. Just mainly just for entertainment purposes. But we'll see how it goes. Never done DKs before, but apparently they're doable. Um, so I guess, I don't know, let's, let, let's give, give, let's give DKs a go. Let's, let, let's give, give, let's, let's, let, let's give, give, let's give, let's give, let's Hey, dude. So I really haven't been having too much luck with my sinkholes, but the daily challenges have really been, um, really been helping out with the dungeoneering experience because like I've been saying, um, I'm, as soon as I hit 2 million dungeoneering experience, I'll unlock, I'll unlock the ability to use a main hand chaotic. Um, and I think I'm going to be going to be unlocking this staff to begin with. And then, you know, if I continue doing dungeoneering, I may end up with, like, crossbows or something like that. Uh, but let me know in the comments which you guys think would be better. But I really think the um, the staff would be the best one because it's so OP. And, um, you know, it'd be nice just to have the chaotic staff to run around the game with and do some Dagonoth Kings and stuff like that. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. And I really haven't been having too much luck with my sinkholes, like I just said. And it just goes to show, like, if you do them every single day, like, I've, some days I've been getting just Dungeoneering tokens, and I've still got 1.2 mil Dungeoneering XP, and I haven't even done my sinkholes today. And that's been, this series has only been going for like a week or so, I'm not quite sure how many days it's been going for. But it really just goes to show, um, you know, how much Dungeoneering experience you, from sinkholes and the Dungeoneering challenge you can do, um, well, well, you can get. Oh, oh yes, never mind. That worked out quite nicely. Do I have a... No, I don't. So I'm going to skip this turn. End up with a large lamp. I'm pretty sure the last clip I said... Um, I said I get really, really unlucky when it comes to getting... Um, when it comes to getting sinkholes rewards. Um, but I just got a huge lamp and a large lamp back to back. So I guess I should really stop complaining. Another 500k experience to unlock my first chaotic. Um, so that's another couple of maybe, I'd say about two days until I get that. And I've also currently got, um, 
40k toggle going to go get another 8k today and i'll also be able to get the toggle's o-ring tomorrow so that's two things i'll be getting no not was it? yeah i'll get the toggle's o-ring tomorrow and probably the chaotic the day after um so yeah i'm getting progressing quite nicely toggle check now that is why I use Juju Farming Potions combined with the Green Fingers Aura. I did manage to get 61 herbs, and uh, that's the total profit of around, so what's that, 65, 650. I spent 325k on seeds, and then I also managed to pick up um, 775k worth of herbs. That's like 400k average profit, which isn't too bad for uh, you know five minutes of work. Okay, so I've just bought enough supplies for 20 overloads. Um, so I've got you know, about 25 super attacks, 20 Avantos. Um, or Abentos, whatever you want to call them. Super Strength, Dwarf Weeds, and Super Defense with um, Laden, Laten, Lantadime. <laughs> I can't even pronounce this. I've also I've already made some Extreme Magics and Extreme Rangings prior to the series, and I just bought 20 torsos just for that. So I'm just going to quickly put these together, make 20 of each, um, Extreme Attack, Strength, and Defense, and then I'm going to put them all as Overloads, and I've got my first 20 Overloads, so I can use them at Bossing, either DKs or God Wars. So, um, let's get cracking with that. There we are. The first 18 overloads of the series has been complete. So, that's 13 4 doses and a 2 dose and 4 vials. So, that's always nice. Some overloads which I can use um, with some bosses and things like that. But I'm going to need to invest some more money on some more overloads because 13 really isn't isn't that much at all is it so um yeah some very very nice accomplishment so this is going to be our second investment of the series it's going to be a banished chest plate see if i can buy it for nine mil i'm pretty sure it's on the rise oh pff, never mind got a 500k off it but i'm pretty sure um banners has been rising quite a bit but i'm not sure if it's going to continue rising all right so this is the gear i'm going to use i'm probably going to switch out the barrows gloves for goliath gloves simply because i think they're just better I'm um, got the Arty Cloak. I'm pretty sure the Arty Cloak. I'm not sure if it's better than the um better than like a skill cape. I'll just double check. Okay, so a skill cape is definitely a lot better than the Arty Cloak, or only a little bit better. 16 armor, yeah, it's oh, I was forgot a four printers, but I'm pretty sure the um skill cape is a lot better. So I'm gonna use the 120 Dungeoneering Cape, I think. Um so let's go, I don't know, let's let's do some banders and see how it goes. Um, speaking of thought, grab me the 120 Dungeoneering Cape because the one I wore in the previous clip wasn't actually part of the series so this is me just preparing for bandos give me that dungeoneering cape that's boss one out of five down and that's boss two out of five complete and three out of five numero four yo out of new out of numero five yo i can't speak german and five out of five time to go with the goliath gloves and we get the black gloves as always it's time to do some bossing